SCAD, or spontaneous coronary artery dissection, that's when you've got every artery in the body has several layers. And if there is a tear in one of the layers, that uh, then that can turn into a flap and the tear can spread. Blood can build up behind that flap or the flap itself can block flow. This can happen in any artery, but because the flow needs for the heart are so significant, it can lead to a heart attack if blood flow is stopped. Just even reviewing these cases, a lot of these women go into the emergency department with these symptoms, are told they have heartburn or something else and are sent home. And uh, that's obviously missing the diagnosis. And then part of the issue is many times it's diagnosed via autopsy, so someone passes from it. But now with better techniques with angiography and uh, CT techniques looking at the coronaries, I think we're going to find it perhaps a little more often than we previously thought. So it's about 70% women, 30% men. Uh, of those women, about 30% in their, are in the peripartum period, so a couple of weeks before they deliver a baby or in the week or two after. So, that's an, so we think that maybe there are hormonal aspects or hormonal fluxes may contribute to uh, the artery, uh, artery splitting. And so that uh, really emphasizes the power of, of pulling together people in this relatively rare condition that in a, in a large metropolitan area you may not even have a, a couple dozen people with this condition to pull in 18 within a week uh, to be part of a study or to volunteer to be part of a study is pretty amazing. I, I really think this will grow because um, as people see the example of what can happen with a couple of women uh, getting together on a social networking site and being able to make something like this happen, uh, others I believe will be inspired by that to, uh, to follow that example and I think other researchers will be more open to those kind of collaborations.